So as usual, I did my morning routine today. That's kind of what they're for. I open my eyes and go on my phone right away. I know that's probably not what people would recommend, but I feel like I'm doing fine and that's what I like to do, so I do it. I open LinkedIn and I scroll by a few posts and one caught my eye, which is about uh, basically a flashback to 10 years ago, which was when there was this article about or from like Harvard or whatever, something big that uh, data science is the sexiest job of the century or whatever. I never thought it was sexy. I think it's a good job, but I, I don't really think it's attractive. It's just it pays well and it's a cool job to have. So I guess that's what they mean by that. I think I think it's actually made of a bunch of nerds so I, I feel like model would be a sexier job but anyways anyways disregarding the the terminology that's used I get the point basically the flashback was uh, so the, this article 10 years ago was suggesting that this is the best job to have it's gonna be in demand it's gonna be changing the world it's gonna have a lot of money attached you'll get to work at the big companies yada yada to today and that so basically as a flashback now we're looking at today is that actually still true right now and uh, it got a lot of reacts, and this is why I was looking at it so much, because, well, one, it was a long post. The other, because it had many, many reactions uh, basically supporting the claim. Uh, a lot of people have been talking if data engineering is now the sexiest job. And I just want to kind of wrap like all this together and, and make sense of it, because it's really not true exactly what's being stated. So what annoys me the most about this is that basically if you're arguing that data science was hip and trendy 10 years ago, well that was basically when convolutional neural nets were coming out. We had LSTMs I think shortly after and then it took like five years from that to like 27, 2018 for transformers to be released and then a few years later for them to actually do crazy things. So basically ChatGPT pretty much still just came out and absolutely transformed the world. It changed developers like their productivity is completely different now they do things very differently there's no use of documentation for anything popular because ChatGPT will tell you tailored to the things that you're trying to do to actually give you exactly what you're trying to do so unless you're doing something super niche where ChatGPT doesn't know the documentation or it's just it's wrong in this particular case you're not going to be needing to use documentation it changed it so so much uh, ignoring developers, which is, you know, largely what ChatGPT is targeted to that. It is also targeted at anybody that does anything. And uh, all of this work, basically, it came from data scientists. Like, sure, you can go and, like, be picky about the particular job titles. Like, no, this wasn't data scientists. This was AI engineers or this was ML researchers. I don't like those terms because it's, like, what, data science means working with data making machine learning models and all, all the related stuff they need a ton of data they need it engineered in a pipeline to get it there so sure you can talk about data engineering separately if you want but you need analytics to perform on this data you need it put into whatever sort of format and files and distribution system that you want there's a lot of data science work here so if you're even trying to argue that data science is not sexy now and it was 10 years ago like I don't get it. Like we were just doing some cool, like learning about image recognition stuff like 10 years ago. And now we made a program that basically is a first step to artificial general intelligence. That's, that's not sexy. Like it literally changed everything. And it is done by the people, the data scientists, are the people that did that. I mean, I'm not going to take away. There's a lot of groups that went into ChatGPT, uh, people that, you know, didn't really know anything about AI at all, people just helping with the models. How can you argue this? So that that's my claim. And if you guys disagree, I'd like to hear it in the comments. An important announcement before you go, we spotted some pandas over at mlnow.ai. And so you're probably going to want to check that out. So go to the link in the description. I won't spoil it for you. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Talk to you in the comments. And bye-bye. Uh, Have a good day.